New at 6, a warning for pet owners after several coyote attacks. Neighbors in Concord, Wayland, and Sudbury have reported attacks in recent days. WBZ's Mike Sullivan explains what you should do to protect your pet. It's that unmistakable sound. And you can hear them at night. That howl. Right, at that point, if you have an animal outside, you should immediately go get it and bring it inside. In recent weeks, there have been three incidents of suspected coyote attacks on dogs in Massachusetts. They happened in Sudbury, Wayland, and Concord. In some instances, those attacks were deadly. Mass Wildlife says coyotes can live in suburban, urban, and rural areas. It means anyone can run into one. Don't be intimidated by the coyote. Uh, if they approach you, try to scare them off or intimidate them by either loud noises, uh, bright lights, or spraying with a garden hose. The Concord police suggest all pet owners keep their animals on a leash and only walk your furry friends outside at night if the area is well lit. Yeah, it seems like every year we have the, this time of year we have the similar calls for, for service. They are opportunistic feeders that will seek out anything that is available. The Concord police say coyotes can live in a very small space. So if you're a homeowner with a shed or a trailer, make sure they're secured. In Concord, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News.